The following slap reconstruction will be viewed from the posterior mid-glenoid portal. An accessory anterior portal is made just superior to the subscapularis. The working portal is made either through the leading edge of the supraspinatus or through the rotator interval. After the superior glenoid tubercle is prepared using the Liberator Plus Shaver Blade, the pop lock drill guide is placed on the debrided bone in the midpoint of the biceps anchor. A pilot hole is created with the pop lock drill bit. Proper depth of the hole is both indicated by the distal laser line on the drill bit and ensured by the proximal depth stop when contact is made by the drill bit on the guide itself. Using a 45 degree Spectrum 2 hook, and a super shuttle relay, one end of a needle-free hi-fi suture is passed through the labrum from the articular side medially, just anterior to the biceps tendon. Suture management is improved by then retrieving this suture end out the anterior portal. The remaining end of the hi-fi suture is then passed in a similar fashion, however this time posterior to the biceps tendon, creating a loop anterior to the biceps anchor. A looped grasper is used to retrieve both ends of the hi-fi suture through the suture loop. And the loop is tightened. Both suture ends are loaded through the 2.8 mm pop lock eyelet and the anchor is inserted into the pilot hole until the laser line on the driver lies just below the glenoid surface. The driver lever and the eyelet on the anchor are collinear. To ensure that the implant's wings deploy anteriorly and posteriorly, the driver lever must point superiorly or toward the patient's head. The suture loop may be tightened by pulling on each of the individual suture strands. Once the desired tension is achieved, the suture ends may be loaded into the suture cleats on the implant driver. The pop lock is then deployed by deactivating the safety lock and squeezing the lever until an audible pop is achieved. The tails of the remaining sutures are then cut with the katana suture cutter. This repair has the advantage of securing the biceps tendon with a low-profile anterior-posterior safety belt loop that simultaneously ensures dynamic eversion of the labrum.